Okay, welcome to exercise 10.2, configuring a VPN server, part of lab 10, configuring VPN and routing, found in the Microsoft official academic course, administering Windows Server 2012 R2, in preparation for exam 70-411. <clears throat> server 01 will be the primary application server, which will be used for most applications. The types of VPN connections that are supported by routing and remote access server include PPTP, L2TP, IKEv2, and SSTP. The approximate lab time, exercise time for this lab is 30 minutes. Um, I already have these questions up, so I'll go ahead and touch on these. Which tab would you use to specify a pre-shared key for RAS, and that's going to be security? Which VPN method requires a digital certificate to provide an SSL connection? That's going to be the SSTP. And B, by default, how many IKE V2 connections are available? And that's going to be 128. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. We are, have, we're on server one with the server manager already open. Again, it is a good housekeeping practice that be, before we proceed to the next uh, exercise, go ahead and create a checkpoint. Oops, go to server one, right click, checkpoint. And since it only takes a couple of seconds, it's less than a minute to do this, it's well worth a little bit of time that you use. So now that's exceeded. So now I'm going to do F2. Oops, no, I'm not going to do F2. I did F1. F2, there we go. Do server 01, checkpoint 10.1, complete. Checkpoint before lab 10.2. There we go. And again, you can name it anything you want. I do like um, naming them so I can understand what they are. So in case I need to go back to a specific checkpoint, I can do that. Okay, so we are in, we're on server one. We're going to go to the taskbar and right click on the network and sharing icon. So we're going to go down here. And right click, open network and sharing, <coughs> minimize this, there we go, so we get rid of the noise, <coughs> click on change adapter settings, we're going to right click the first ethernet connection, and choose rename. We're going to call this internal. And then we're going to right click and rename and call this external. And then enter. Now we're going to right click external and click on properties. And we're going to double click the IPv4. And we are going to click on use the following IP address 192.168.21 tab. And then click on OK. And then OK. On the server manager, let me close this. We're going to click on tools. And routing and remote access. And 
and then we're going to right click server 01. So left click, right click, configure and enable right routing and remote access. On the welcome page, we're going to click on next. And here we want to select remote access VPN. Right here. We want to select the radio button for virtual private network VPN access and NAT. And then click on next. And then next. From the specified range of addresses. Here we're going to click on new. <coughs> okay, and here we're going to type in 192, 168, 1, and then 40. Tab 192, 168, 1, and 45. Going to click on OK. And then we're going to click on next. And then next again and finish. We're going to click on OK. If you're following along in your lab manual, this would be where you take your next screenshot. Let's go ahead and click on our here, and then we want to go into Administrative Tools. And we want to double-click Windows Firewall, with Advanced Security, under Actions. Minimize this. <clears throat> Under Actions, we want to click Properties. We want to change the Domain Profile Firewall state to Off. And then we're going to change the firewall state to off on the private profile. So that's domain. Domain profile, that's right. So now the profile private. We're going to change this one to off. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then close administrative tools. Go back to our routing remote access. So we're going to right click server one and go into properties. <coughs> and you'll notice we have several tabs. Here we have the general security IPv4. IPv6, IKE, V2, PPP, and logging. So which tab would you specify a pre-shared key? So we've already gone over these questions. And then which VPN method requires a digital certificate to provide an SSL connection? 
Okay, so we're going to click on OK. And then right click ports. Left click, right click. And this takes us to the next question. By default, how many IKEA V2 connections are available? And we already saw the answer, it should be 128. We're going to then click on OK. Properties. So here's the 128. And then OK. Now we are already logged into the Contoso um, RWDC, so I'm going to bring that up. And on the server manager, we're going to click on tools and then Active Directory, Users, and Computers. We're going to expand Contoso.com, it already is, and then click on Users. <coughs> We're going to double click the Administrator account. And then click the Dial In. Brings us to question five. What is the default setting for network access permission? Control access through NPS network policy. Okay, here we're going to click to select allow access. And if you're following along in your lab manual, this would be where you take your next screenshot. All right, let's go ahead and click on OK. Close Active Directory Users and Computers. And this is the end of this exercise and this video. The next video will go over exercise 10.3, which is configuring a VPN client.